you know, it was an honor, you know, just to be, you know, even considered, you know, to be, to be in the Cardinals organization. You know, you, you play against the Cardinals. You know, I've been playing against them for eight years now, and you see them, and, and it's always good that a winning team wants you. So it, it, it was uh, it's definitely humbling. I'm Darwin Zook with the MLB.com FastCast. The St. Louis Cardinals made a splash on Friday, introducing their new center fielder, Dexter Fowler, after signing him to a five-year contract. The 30-year-old switch hitter hit for a 276 average with 13 homers and 13 stolen bases for the division rival Cubs in 2016. Fowler is excited to continue playing for a winning franchise moving forward. This is definitely a baseball city. The fans, every time you come here, you see red everywhere going through our parade and you see Cardinals fans out there. <laughs> so um, being just being a part of that and, and their winning culture. They, they, they've won World Series. They, they're poised to, to be back in the World Series to win again and that, that was a big part of my decision as well. The San Francisco Giants introduced closer Mark Melanson on Friday after agreeing on a four-year deal during the winter meetings. The Giants' new ninth-inning man spoke to why San Francisco was such an appealing destination. I've always had a great respect for the Giants organization. And coming up here a few weeks ago and visiting, getting to sit down with Bobby and Larry. And from day one, I, I, this was such an attractive organization. And, and after meeting, like I said, it, it even uh, solidified that even more. So uh, no regrets, and it's just uh, I feel like this was God's plan and it worked out perfectly. The Nationals and White Sox made one of the biggest steals of the winter meetings as outfielder Adam Eaton went to the Nationals and top-ranked right-handed pitching prospect Lucas Giolito was sent to the White Sox as part of a four-player trade. The two spoke on Friday about their new clubs. I went in bed last night and dreamt that I was in the postseason with the guys. So it's very real, very uh, cool. Of course, you guys still got to play the games. And I think, uh, again, I haven't talked to the boys, but I'm sure they're all on the same page. So we're all going to pull in the same direction and, and get the job done and get uh, and get in the postseason. And now, like I said, I've only dreamed about it. And, uh, you know, this was my fifth year. And I wish it came earlier, but like I said, I'm excited to uh, you know have a good ball club. I've had some experience in the big leagues last year. I took a lot positive away because I did experience uh, a lot of, I'd say, like hardship when it, when I made it up and, and didn't perform up to what I believe is my best capability. So I've pitched a good amount of innings, innings in the minor leagues and, I, and I've had a little experience in the big leagues. So I'm just really looking forward to, to making it up in the big leagues uh, with the White Sox and contributing as soon as possible. For more on these stories and complete coverage of the offseason, Keep it locked in to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.